Hello students, this is me Nilima Shakya. In today's class, we are going to derive the equation of a straight line in normal form. That is x cos alpha plus y sin alpha equals to p. In this equation, p is the length of the perpendicular drawn from the origin to the line and alpha is the angle made by that perpendicular with the x-axis in the positive direction. Now let's derive the equation. Equation of the straight line in normal form. X cos alpha plus y sin alpha equals to P. For that, let's consider a straight line. Coordinate axis here and the straight line is here. And this line intersects X axis at A and Y axis at B. Here, X intercept is OA denoted by small a and y intercept is ob denoted by small b. We know the equation of a straight line in double intercept form is x by a plus y by b equals to one. Let's number this equation as equation number one. Now let's draw om perpendicular to ab. Here it is om perpendicular to ab and let's denote the length of the perpendicular that is OM by the letter P and angle AOM, this is equals to alpha. Let's write it over here. OM equals to P and angle MOA equals to alpha. Now we have a right angle triangle MOA and in this right angle triangle MOA, we have angle OMA equals to 90 degree. OMA equals to 90 degree and angle MOA equals to alpha. Since MOA is a right angle triangle, we have these two angles, MOA and MAO, they are complementary. So we have this angle OAM or MAO that is equals to 90 degree minus alpha. Let's write it here, angle MAO, it is equals to 90 degree minus alpha. Now let's take this MOA equals to alpha as the reference angle. Taking this alpha as the reference angle, let's find cos alpha, whose ratio is base by hypotenuse. For this alpha, base is length OM, that is equals to P. Let's write it here. It is P and hypotenuse, it is A here, opposite of 90 degree, which is equals to A. So we have cos alpha equals to P by A. Let's write it in this form, A equals to P by cos alpha. In this step, the A is taken to the left hand side and cos alpha is taken to the right hand side. So we have A equals to P by cos alpha. Let's give this equation as equation number two. Now in this triangle, B O A, which is a right angle triangle again, we have angle B O A, this one it is equals to 90 degree, written over here, angle B O A equals to 90 degree. And this angle B A O, it is equals to 90 degree minus alpha, which we have already calculated above. So we write it here, angle O A B equals to 90 degree minus alpha. Again, since triangle BOA is a right angle triangle and 90 degree is at O. We have these two angles, angle A and angle B, they are complementary. So since angle A, it is equals to 90 degree minus alpha, we have this angle B, it is equals to alpha. Here it is, angle OBA, it is equals to alpha. Now let's work in this small triangle BOM, which is again a right angle triangle. Taking this angle B as the reference angle, here it is angle OBM as the reference angle, let's find the ratio sine alpha, which is equals to perpendicular by hypotenuse. Here for this angle alpha, perpendicular is P and hypotenuse is opposite of 90 degree, that is B. So P by B. Students, don't get confused. This B does not mean the base here. It is the hypotenuse, the length OB, 
which is opposite of this 90 degree. So we have hypotenuse is B. Now we can write sine alpha equals to P by B. Also, we can write it in this form, B equals to P by sine alpha. B taken to the left hand side and sine alpha taken to the right hand side. Also, let's number this equation as number three. Now in this equation number one, let's substitute it for A and B from equation number two and three. Here it is equation number one, x by a plus y by b equals to one. And let's substitute for a and b. From equation two and three, we have x by a. a, it is replaced by p by cos alpha. And in the second term denominator, it was b and b is replaced by p by sine alpha from equation number three. Now simplification left over here cos alpha will go to the numerator to multiply it with x and denominator there it is p. Similarly, in the second term, we have y sine alpha by p and right hand side, it is equals to one. Let's take LCM, LCM is p and in the numerator, we have x cos alpha plus y sine alpha. Hence we get x cos alpha plus y sine alpha equals to p, which is the required equation of the straight line in perpendicular form. Okay, students, this much for now. In our next video, we'll be solving problem related to the normal form equations. Till then, bye-bye and thank you for watching this video.